My name is Morg. I'm a performer at the Venice Beach Freak Show. I do a number of acts, like things with hooks and needles and power drills and a lot of very strange things. A popular act that I do is sword swallowing. You take a very long sword, um, it's usually about two feet, you place it in the mouth and uh, you swallow it. What happens when you swallow it is it goes past an esophageal sphincter all the way down the esophagus. It goes very, very close to the heart and it actually pushes the lungs aside when it goes down. And then it goes to the very bottom of the stomach. Sword swallowing is pretty easy for me. It's an, an act that I learned later. I mostly did it because my other acts were too shocking and I needed something a little more family friendly. So that act is, you know, it's more of a lighthearted one, I suppose. <clears throat> very dangerous act that I do is combining the acts of regurgitation and sword swallowing. Regurgitation is taking an object and swallowing it and bringing that back up. And uh, I've done that with a number of objects like marbles and golf balls and billiard balls and things like this. And I actually had one made out of steel about the same size as a billiard ball. So I place that in the mouth and then swallow it into the stomach. While that stays there, I take the sword and that touches the steel ball. That is a very dangerous act. If it gets stuck here, you know, that's going to block off the air passage. I won't be able to breathe. I've had an object get stuck lodged in my esophagus before. I had to go to the emergency room because of that. I've had a, a lot of different uh, interesting audience reactions to the acts that I do. I've had people throw up. I do one act where I take a hook, put it through my nose, and then twist it all the way so it comes out my mouth. I had a guy once, he was right in front of me, and he, bam, just passed out. It was the perfect ending to the show. Coming to see my performance, it's either going to be something that you love or something that you hate. But in either case, it'll be something that you'll never forget.